Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. Now this is intended to be a love reading and since it is the week of Valentine's Day I picked a couple of love oracle decks to go with this reading. So I'm going to get a couple of overall energies and then we will go from there. I want to thank you for your patience. Oh, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. And that doesn't mean it's a, I mean, that could just be time apart, like hours. It doesn't mean, I mean, or it could be a real 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 separation it can be going several ways so just hold up while I'm getting the rest of these cards turn on your heart light allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love It's telling you to, to think of a time that you experienced love, okay? For some reason, they want you to reminisce. Think back. of wish fulfillment at this time and maybe even a lack of hope okay you may be feeling down and I'm sorry to tell you that okay there's a lack of happiness but let's just see you know it's really time to release something to stop holding on to something you know maybe there's some kind of separation that is needed I mean I, I can't change this maybe it's time to stop resisting some sort of change that is needed Letting go of some sort of obsession, perhaps. You know, there's been some kind of defeat, crisis, loss, difficulty in your life that there's no need to hang on to it anymore. It's over. It's dead. There's a, there's some kind of um, ending here, a completion that is making you very unhappy. And it's making you feel insecure. You may feel like you're on thin ice. You may be feeling like... You know, you're sitting alone in the dark. You know, you're by yourself. You may, you're probably feeling pretty alone right now, um, whether you're with somebody or not. And this is why this card came out as advice, is when you're going through these periods of being so down and depressed and feeling like things are never going to change, try to reminisce on times of love, okay? Positive times of love. Yeah, it feels like there's no forward movement when really you need to you need to go down a new path. You need to have faith. You need to have trust. You need to be able to take a risk to step outside of your comfort zone. Many of you are staying in some kind of troubled path. You're doing it by not by not walking out of it. The trouble is in your life because you're not moving out of it. You're staying there. You're not taking action. You know, you're not believing in yourself. Your lack of faith. There's lack of faith here, and you're being called to have faith. It's like you're in denial. You're, you're, you're pretending that everything is okay when everything is not okay. You have to let go of something that you're holding on to. It's over with. It is over with. Something is over with, and it is time for you to move on. It's time for you to master your emotions. Okay, it's time to, for you to. Put yourself in the driver's seat of your own life. You're the driver. You're the boss. You can't. You can't pretend or, or let leave it up to somebody to take care of you and fix you. The only one that can fix you is you. All right. I see. There's a lack of faith here, big time, big time. A lack of faith in the humanity. A lack of faith in the future. A lack of faith in love. 
And if there's a lack of faith, I mean, your thoughts truly do become things, okay? You need to let that old thinking die, okay? It's time for you to have faith. It's time for you to take a leap of faith and step into the unknown path, okay? It really is. It's time for you to start over, to have a new beginning in your life. It really is. But you have to take the step. You have to take the step. Many of you have been going through a period of growth, of true growth. You know, and so now it's it's really time to love yourself again. Whatever this pain has is is that has caused you, you know, you've been you've been through some sort of pain. It's really made you stronger, believe it or not, and now it's time for you to really follow your dreams okay it's time for you to have gentle compassion for yourself but you, you know there's lack of focus lack of concentration lack of uh, uh, hope I mean if you keep if you stay in that state of mind then I can't help you you need to change your thoughts Lack of confidence, lack of respect for yourself, lack of self-worth, lack of courage. You know, you've lost your focus. Lack of hope, lack of faith. You may feel like you're the victim. You need to stop feeling like that and you need to realize that you have a lot to offer. You're worthy. It's a time of healing. You need to let yourself heal. You need to be calm and 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 be com calm and compassionate with yourself. Don't worry. Let go of some of these worries that you're carrying around with you. I feel like there's somebody who is greedy that is in your presence, somebody that is greedy, somebody that is not very loving. They're probably more interested in their money, their finances, their job, their security, their stability, but not love. And maybe that's who you've been dealing with. Maybe that's who the separation is with. You know, I feel like you've been dealing with somebody who is very controlling and manipulative. And now they've stolen your, they've stolen your faith or they've stolen your, your morale. And it's, it's time for you to really take a time out and step back and refocus, okay, seriously. It's time to, for you to become self-aware of what is going on and how you can fix it and come up with a plan, okay. It's a time for you to step back and make a plan for your future. And while you are making this plan in writing on a piece of paper, Remember to treat yourself with gentle compassion and really think about your worth, what you're worth. Many of you have been staying stuck in a situation to avoid conflict, to, to avoid upheaval, to avoid destruction. But it's going to happen because when the tower comes out, you cannot you can only avoid it for so long. Okay? It's time for a change. It is time for a change. Because there's a contract that is over that you need to let go of. Okay? You, you can't stay stuck in this situation any longer. There's a contract with another person that is not fulfilling. And it's time to end the contract because there's no more hope. You may feel like you're being criticized. You may feel like you're being attacked. You are feeling like you are judging or being judged by another person. And it's really weighing you down. I feel like there's like a feeling of being attacked more than anything. Attacked and controlled. And like I said, you've lost faith, faith in humanity because somebody, whether, I mean, it could be you. I mean, I don't know. Somebody is attacking somebody. You could be attacking yourself mentally. I mean... There's a, there's a, I feel like a victim here mentality as well. That victim mentality is attacking, okay? So somebody is 
is literally being attacked, whether it's you doing it to yourself or whatever, you know, and it's really causing some havoc in your life. And there's some kind of uh, separation. There is a separation of some sort that needs to happen. Otherwise, you will live with the consequences of you trying to avoid this disruption until the universe says, okay, it's time. Because eventually the universe is going to cause this disruption. And they're going to open a new door for you. And they're going to force you to struggle through this. It's time to struggle through this. Whatever it is you've been resisting. This change. I think that you've been trying. You know that you need to make a change. But the fear of what's going to happen if you make the change. The unknown. The lack of faith. The lack of hope. You know. Is holding you back if you could just replace the fear and the unknowing you know the fear of not knowing the fear of being hurt with faith everything would change I feel like you're at a crossroads in your life and there's going to be a new path that the tower is going to open up for you and you are going to be called to have gentle compassion with yourself and walk down that new road. Because there's hidden forces. It's like it's working right now. Like I said, there's, there's something going on behind the scenes right now that is working in your favor. You may not see it. You may not feel it. And you have lost hope. Somebody that is watching this has lost hope. But the universe is working behind the scenes for you. All right? This is the unknown. You need to have faith in the divine plan. You need to have faith that what is meant to be is meant to be. You need to have the strength to, to struggle through whatever is thrown your way with faith. Faith. If you get anything out of this reading, faith is needed. There's a cycles, a cycle that is ending and a new cycle is beginning in your life. If you are ready to have faith, because the universe is trying to make you have faith. That's why all this is happening. To instill faith into you. That's why you're having these struggles. To wake you up so that you can go through your awakening. And until you really open your eyes, you're probably going to continue the struggle because I see the struggles. But, you know, you're, this is the, the collective consciousness. People are waking up. And part of yours, I believe, is, you know, you're being poked. Do you trust me? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Your partner could be your second personality. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Time apart. It's time to separate from this victim mentality. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Reflect on love not hurt so is a new love coming in no it's in your hands right talk to you later